Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Black Man Rankings. Thanks for tuning in. In the house, I got my boy, Black Mellow, and Kamal Aristo. And today's topic, gentlemen, is your boy, Joe Biden. Joe Biden just um, was said to have um, been giving 450K, almost a half a million dollars to illegal immigrants. Now, let, let me let me give the backstory. The backstory is this. Illegal immigrants got separated from their families. When they when they crossed over illegally into the United States, they got separated from parent to child. They went through a lot of traumas. And this is a this is a Trump thing. Trump did this. But what happened is some of the immigrants who got caught up didn't think it was fair that they got separated from their families, even though they did something illegal. They got Biden or, or Trump, I should say, had them separated. So now Biden is trying to fix that hole, trying to patch that hole. Um, because what happened is the immigrants ended up filing a lawsuit. Okay, so they, they, they're actually suing the United States government right now. Now, what they were originally asking for was about 3.5 million each. But, but now Biden is saying, I'm not gonna give you 3.5, but I will give you, you know, 450K each. Now, what happens is that goes for each person. So that means the child gets almost a half a million and the parent gets almost a half a million. Now, when I'm looking at this, I'm saying to myself, none of these people voted you in office. None of they, they did something that could be, it is illegal. It ain't even considered, it is illegal. But they get a half a million dollars yet. The people who did vote you in the office is still waiting for reparations? Make it make sense. I mean, we've been here, we've been catching hell for a, a long time, African Americans. And there is no legislation or reparations. And I can't really say that I'm surprised because I, I told y'all in another video and check that video out, y'all. If y'all haven't seen that, um, what happened to our community is that, look, we are the designated, <laughs> we are designated bottom tier citizens because capitalism needs a bottom tier to function. It is a game of have and have nots, right? So if it's a game of have and have nots, it's and and it's capitalism. I feel is a is really just a organized pyramid scheme, because what happens is people at the top, the one percent, get all the wealth, and everybody on the bottom is is said to help those at the top gain more and more and more and more wealth, and whoever controls the money is pretty much guaranteed to always be on top and that's what we're facing right here but you know this country knows that you know they done wrong by african americans they know that uh they should give reparations to us however it hasn't happened and we constantly get skipped o over time and time again even by people who are not even citizens of this country what say you black well it's a lot to, it's a lot of angles to take on this but uh for one they fulfilling a prophecy by 
pretty much being ostracized the way they are by uh, being dehumanized the way they were by being put in cages like that it's a it's a crime against humanity that's the issue when when you're not born in this construct what we call America and you don't have title to this what they call country then you're not under the jurisdiction of this country so it's an act of war to capture somebody who you who's not under your jurisdiction and then punish them or take their freedom from them that's an act of international war that's a declaration of war against the nation that they are under the jurisdiction so to avoid an international war you have to remedy those people it's just my opinion i could be wrong about it but you have to remedy those people which is why they are getting a check cut to them in my my opinion because they have representation in the UN somewhere else they have someone they have a seat allocated to them the reason we don't have any representation is because there is nobody in the UN that represents the nation of black people there's no title there's a title for mexico there's a title for iranians there's a title for kenya ethiopia there are all these titles in the UN there's representation there is no title for the title black people there's no such thing we are considered a no people and this is why you can literally get away with murder against a no people nothing will happen to you you will not get repaired because you're considered dead already as a people or lost so i'm not surprised that they're getting repaired so fast because they are a people right now with representation we do not have any representation and with, which is why it's taken so long for us to get repaired because every 30 years they change our identities and we don't have representation for any of these identities we are considered lost so i understand i mean why they considered getting, lost by who and and how like into go ahead listen internationally we are not recognized as a people with direct connection to a country we don't have a flag for the title or the label black people there is no flag for black people which is why the indigenous people on the continent that we claim to come from that we are supposedly under the african continent they don't call themselves black that is a dehumanizing title to go up under it represents a minority identity meaning we are low intellect by law and we are disconnected from our true nation so therefore we don't have international rights because we are a man-made fiction made up by slave owners who took control of us took our nationality from us and everything included and never gave it back but why is international recognition required for repair of a people if you know that you've damaged a people then 
you know, your flag doesn't matter. Like, you know, uh, the Native Americans, you know, they were here, they didn't necessarily have a flag, but this country knows what it done to them. And they did make, uh, you know, a bit of retribution or, you know, compensation and repair um, for them. They do, yeah, they've bro. done it to Japanese uh, workers. Uh, all of them receive reparations. They've done it for slave owners who've actually owned slaves. They got reparations. And now this is this, this can be considered a form of reparations, which it is really for illegal immigrants who is receiving per person four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and yet there is one people that they refuse to address that they refuse to give uh, repair to and it's because we don't have a flag well whose fault is that is that our fault that we don't have a flag or we we, we don't have international so-called recognition no they they know the the atrocities that were done and that should be addressed in regard as a matter of fact i would argue that we had a flag before we came over here but now we well, don't have one yeah and then and here's the thing man when you're dealing with governments when you're dealing with corporations you're dealing with organizations, you're dealing with treaties. If there's no agreements on the books, then there is no, there is no construct to which you can function and agree internationally to. There's no agreements in place. So however these people are treated is a, is a null and is a null and void point. It's a mute point because those people aren't recognized. They don't have any agreements on the books for how to treat them. So on the books, on paper, there's no contract internationally. They aren't recognized internationally. They don't have a country internationally, no nation they're connected to. They're zombies that literally, I, literally. I, I really don't buy that argument though man that there's uh you know they, they don't have uh recognition or any look the the, the crime the crimes were committed regardless of a flag or any kind of recognition okay if if you have done or or committed hum, humanity crimes uh you know you it doesn't it doesn't matter what flag you're waving okay these people have uh, well i should say <clears throat> you know african americans i i will say that we are the ones who deserve repair the most so 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 here's my question to you ski should illegal immigrants get reparations Yes or no, and if so, why? <laughs> That's funny. They can get what they want. You know, it don't matter at the end of the day. Remember, it's about them cryptos, those bitcoins. This ain't got nothing to do with Bitcoin, man. With that, like you know, like we were saying, it got nothing to do with us either, though. You know, this this they this they kingdom. They can do what they want. They know who we are. You know. And we're yeah. just talking about, you know, the, the, what this is all about, you know, in direct news before this broadcast, you know, and I want to apologize to a lot of the, the audience for my verbal assault, but, you know, I'm a Negro, you know, just like I was saying before, I ain't perfect. And, 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 you know, we, we different from the others, you know, and so these people know who we are and we do have a flag. We have a a few flags, as a matter of fact. That's you know, a fact. That's a fact. We they do. know the boundaries and all of that stuff. You know, and nothing ain't. You know, they got they got secrets. You know what I'm saying? They got secrets, but 
generational curses was, was meant to be broken, but you know, everybody want to carry and follow the ways of the, the heathens, you know, mm -hmm. the ways of, of what they, of what they talking about, what they doing, you know, they ain't doing nothing. You can get that money away. <laughs> that money ain't nothing. That, that money is something. I mean, it, 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 it pays for them for, a, to have a better lifestyle and even to to build wealth it could start out with that what why haven't um in your in, in your words black why haven't african americans got reparations yet you know in a way that um what, what why do you think it's taking so long i don't think we're recognized internationally as a people you think that's why you think that's why like they don't recognize well, us as being i know that's why every 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 nation the russians are connected to russia and they have an agreement recognized by the un united nations the chinese people are connected to china they have a treaty they have agreements war agreements that's recognized by the un if they breach those contracts, it's a declaration of war against that nation of people. There is no declaration, there is no flag recognized by the UN that represents who we are that's recognized. You may have small pockets of people who've come together and tried to get something respected by the UN, but it's not as of yet. It's recognized by bodies of people who agree on a flag, but not by the UN. And there's no declaration that that represents all of us because we don't all agree. We're not a monolith. We are still fragmentized. We still broken up as a nation. And we don't, we haven't, we don't have representation yet, even speaking on our behalf to declare anything or to force policy for the whole of who we are. But he's only so, coming from a remnant. You know, the two thirds is the two thirds. That's, that's already been been said in the truth. You know, that's what's going to happen. You know, they're the first ones, you know, and they should know, you know, with all this information out here, come on. It says what he's going to do in the last days. These are the last days, you know. And ain't no happiness after, you know, after 23. You know, it's a change. It's a change coming. Just like um, Barry said. In my Barry White voice. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that was that was Curtis Mayfield, wasn't it? That wasn't, uh, I don't think that was Barry White. A change going to come. Or was that Curtis Mayfield? That was Otis. Uh, I, it was one of them. No, but it that was Donny Hathaway. No, that wasn't Donny. I was Hathaway. talking about the president. I wasn't talking about an artist or that or uh Oh, no, that wasn't Donny Hathaway, motherfucker. Yeah. But but he, here's the thing, y'all. I'm I'm really not I'm really not sell me on this because I'm not buying it. I'm not buying the fact that they don't know who we are. No, I never okay. said they didn't know who we are. Or we don't have a flag or we don't have representation or anything like that. No, listen, check this out. Anytime, let's say anytime you get hired on to a new job, to put it in these perspectives, you get hired on to a new job, you have to be what? Orient into where you are, what the job expects of you your code of conduct and you have to agree to all of these things in order to be gainfully employed employed at that company that corporation so for the time that you are there you're expected to move in a certain way according to their rules and they'll recognize you and probably give you a badge id badge and say we recognize you and compensate you for your time for performance in that corporation but the minute you go against that they don't recognize you no more you broke the agreement 
and they fire you, after they fire you, you're no longer recognized. You still have the same image. You still get you still a compensation the same, package. Yeah, you still have the same ID. You're the same person, but you're no longer recognized by that corporation. But you still get a compensation so, package when you walk out the door, whatever, okay. whatever you had. So, so okay, that's- Okay, but that's, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is after they no longer recognize you, that ID, so now you're no longer recognized with the same ID and everything through that corporation. You can't go through those same doors that you used to go through because you ain't recognized no more. So now you have to go somewhere else, right? And you're gonna probably do the same thing with them. Try to get recognized over there. So if you look at this country as a corporation, this is a corporation, United States corporation. So some of us know that. The thing is, we don't have an agreement in place no more. We don't need it. like like they didn't have an agreement, man. They they came over here illegally. It is an so, agreement. What what's what's okay? You tell me what's the agreement that I illegal immigrants had with the with the corporation of the United States to gain a half a no, no, million no, no. dollars? No 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 no. This, this, you keep we, calling we, them illegal immigrants. Yeah, where well, are they? That, that that is what they are. Illegal. That, right. That's what I was saying earlier. You know what? They're not illegal immigrants. They're they're legal. They're legal citizens. What are illegal? Are we going to change their title now? Well, from Russia, China. Is I'm Israel? talking about from from Mexico, man. From from, from Mexico. Yeah, illegal immigrants who crossed the border are are now about to get close to a half a million dollars. And listen. <laughs> let me let me let me let me say this. Let me be clear that about this. Let me be me. clear. Yeah, let me be clear about this. Okay. I I do feel that they sh deserve the money. Okay. I I do feel like it was a crime against humanity for those families that that were separated. I mean, some of them died, man. Some of them died, and. And the trauma that they went through is 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 traumatic. Is very very big, very large. So for that reasons, I I agree they should get every dime of that. Uh, you know, close to half a million dollars, if not more. the The problem I'm having is that everyone can see oppression with other groups other than the ones who built this nation that's that's where my that's where my problem is okay that you know this community uh alphabet community got their things the uh hispanic community got their things illegal immigrants got their things japanese got their things white slave owners got their things where 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 is our things at you know because that's you joining their army you know <laughs> join our army you know who army is that you know yeah it just is it, and, and the fact that you know it said that we don't have you know recognition or the un look the un ain't not, like the u.s control the un anyway i mean it's it's it, they're they were placed there to try and have every every country whatever get along but it's it's pretty much us ran okay so that that's a bit of a mute point and and when you're talking about you know recognizing us everybody on the planet know who we are everybody on the planet practically knows what happened to us did that and if so, they if they don't it's because that information has been suppressed but for the most part everybody know like everybody know about the jewish holocaust everybody know about african-american slavery in america it's it's a given and especially the people who 
committed these uh, crimes, they know. So listen, this is this is one I want to emphasize, man. When there's a crime against humanity, eventually it reaches what you call it because it if it happens on foreign soil and it's an atrocity against humanity is it goes eventually up to what you call the world court now we talking about court and court is governed it functions off laws if there's no laws or agreements in place or code of conduct for you to treat a group or demographic of people or a nation, because that's what we're dealing with, then those that demographic that's been marginalized and mistreated with no code of conduct, they're free game. The slavery thing was proof that these people, because the whole world came and agreed that this is how we have to deal with this demographic of people. There was an international agreement made by the UN, well, the UN of the time, hundreds of years ago. We have to treat these people this, this type of way in order for all of us to flourish off those people. It's just my opinion. They came and they agreed we have to remove these people from this place. We have to put them somewhere else. We have to strip them of who they are. You can't allow a God, lowercase, to understand who he is. He has to be dehumanized in order to remain at a lower estate. He has to function in lawlessness and by doing so we keep him under our foot and we get the benefits of his god-given talents gifts and abilities and we siphon all of that energy off of him for our gain internationally now he is not gonna after time recognize who he really is but we're going to tell him who he is. And don't worry about it. Long as we're telling him who he is, he's not going to have a fight internationally because there's not enough time for him to even get that kind of mentality to organize. We're going to keep him so under the fire. We're going to keep him so burdened, so oppressed that he's not gonna have time to organize his people based off of all the international oppressions that we're gonna agree to impact these people with. So there's no agreement on the books for who you call an African on the one side and an American, which is two different nations of people. Leo Scipios Africanus was the man that basically was cloaked for the term Africa. That was a Caucasian man, Leo Scipios Africanus, and Amerigo Vespucci, which was a map maker. He was a Caucasian, and he was the one that America was named after. So you got two Caucasian men, and then you have a fraction of, fra broken up people who don't know who they are, like I was saying, calling themselves from the identity of two Caucasian men. Now, from last I checked, I don't come from two Caucasian men. So that is not my identity. I understand that that's the box that they supplied us to check, but that ain't who we truly are. And there is no representation in the UN for an African American person. That's not a real thing. That's not a God given thing or created thing. 
Con. It has no representation. Uh, but that's and there is no agreement in place to protect or treat that thing humanely, is what I'm saying. We have to get back to who we truly are, All right. All which right. is hey, Israelites. Hey, Ski, do you think that African Americans should get reparations? African Americans? <laughs> Black people? What? I mean, y'all play these semantic games, man. Well, Black people. We, like I said before, you know, and that's the thing, you know, we don't we don't got nothing coming from these people. We don't want nothing from these people. I know, but do do should we get them? Do we do we deserve it? Respirations. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, oh, listen, way bigger sla than slave owners mm -hmm. got it. Do you they think know that we, we should are in the day, you know, and that's and that's one of the things, you know, because we 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 under them still. We still under them. We follow in their ways, but they know who we are. And that's the thing with the heathens. That's why they raised because they were never sought after, called or chosen. They mad, you know, that's 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 the real reason behind everything, you know, and now they want you to be a part of them. You know, they want to take your powers away. I had sent the clip earlier. They know who we are. They know what, what kind of power we got, what kind of power that we're going to have, this remnant anyway. We ain't talking about the two thirds again, because yeah, a lot of them are lost, which, which Black was saying, yeah, they, they gone, you know, and that's sad, that's Israel. But <clears throat> yeah. So is that a yes or a no. no? We don't need it. We don't want it. You know? We don't need it. We don't want it. They can't repair us. They There is no reparations to look for. They cannot repair us. It ain't their job to repair us. They got a job and they've been doing their job. Their job is to oppress. They've been See, doing not, a good okay. job at that. Now this is what I was talking about in the in the last video, and I and I said this that we are the permanent uh, lower class, and you know, not, well, one third lower, of us is not permanent. What do you mean, one third of us? It's not going to be a reality pretty soon around here. It's going to be flipped. The table's going to be turned. Yeah, but what but what I'm saying is that, um, you know capitalism works that way where we we are designated lower class do you think that for the sake of capitalism we are not given reparations Designate. i mean is it, is it is it because they don't recognize it is because is it because they don't think we deserve it or is it be, or is it to save capitalism that we're not getting it like what is the root cause is it is it economic? Is it uh, morally, or is it you know, you know, unsympathetic? You know, what what is the root cause that they skip over us practically every chance they get? And and they but but they still address it with other communities that you know may be smaller than us, you know, but what. You know what? What is the what is the underlying reason for it? Because it keeps happening. Every group gets recognized and it gets compensated. So that tells me it's probably not Im a, a moral issue because they know when they've done wrong. It's a legal issue. I'm telling you why. It's a legal issue handled in a world court, and there's no, they have representation. We don't. There's no such thing as an African American legitimately that's a that's a nobody people that don't really exist that's an american African -American, american is just the name but we the person we the people are do exist when man. you're dealing with law they don't deal with that it has to be on the it's books. not about a title it has to be a recognized connected to a nation and it has to be treaties and agreements okay in we're, 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 look were you born in this country yeah i was so we have representation no We've just been, uh, we've been oppressed. You, you was dead on the we've been oppressed, and our our ancestors have been oppressed for that was, period of time. Trust me, you you don't know to have, and I'm I'm saying that respectfully. You don't know to have. I I, we are not I know recognized. the half. I know the half. The home. The the thing is, I noticed that we keep getting skipped by, and that's not um, that's not acceptable. But we ran out of time. We could pick this up on a uh, part two. Thanks for joining. It's BMR, and since BMR covered it, now it's official. Peace.